Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to set up a Valheim dedicated server on your own Windows PC. If you guys are having any trouble with this guide, feel free to leave any questions down in the comments down below, and also join my Discord channel so I can help you guys out. I'll put a link to my Discord server in the description down below. Real quickly before I get started, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I will be posting more Valheim content in the future. So the first step you want to do is I recommend making a new folder on your desktop. And just call it something like Valheim server. And just keep that right there. Next, you're going to want to go to the Steam CMD website. Put a link in the description down below. So once you get to this page in the description, just scroll down a little bit. And you're going to find on step number two, there's going to be a download link to a .zip folder. So go ahead and click on that. Once the file has downloaded, go ahead and click on the .zip file right here. And then you're going to see a file here called steamcmd.exe. Go ahead and just drag this into the Valheim server folder. Next, you can close both of these windows because we will not be needing them anymore. And then you want to open the Valheim server folder right here. And then go ahead and just double click on this file right here. And if it's working, it'll start downloading the update for the Valheim server files. If this is done correctly, a command prompt window like this will pop up and it will also download and install the latest update. Once the server finishes downloading and installing, you're going to want to type in login space anonymous and then hit enter and then once that's done you want to also type app underscore update space 896-660 and then hit enter once this is done you can just close out of this command prompt right here and it will save everything after that, you will notice there are a bunch of new files in this new Valheim server folder you created. You're actually going to need to go into some of the folders, so you have to click on Steam Apps, click on Common, and then Valheim Dedicated Server right here. And then in here, you're going to see a bunch of files. One important note is if you need more help with uh, managing your dedicated server, there's a PDF document right here that just kind of explains everything that you need to know about running your server. So to start off, we are going to want to find the file called startheadlessserver.bat. Go ahead and click on that. And before we actually get started, you will want to make a copy of this file. So just right click, copy, and then right click, paste, and it just makes a copy right there. The next step is you want to click on the file right here, right click, then click edit. There are a few important things in this section, like for example, right here where it says dash name my server, right here is where you want to create the name of your server. So for example, I'm just going to put U-H-M-A-R-K-K -K server, and then whatever is typed in after the dash world dedicated, that's going to be the name of the world that's going to be selected for your Valheim server. So if you want to pick a different world that you already have created, you would want to move your world into the files and then name it whatever your world is called. For example, let's say I have a world named Mark. Whatever I type in there, it will run that world for the server. Next, for the password, you just have to make a minimum password length of at least five characters and the password can't be in the server name so for example i would not be able to make the passcode my youtube username because it is actually in the name of my server so you just want to make a really strong password or one that your friends can easily put in after you're done editing your server name the world name and your password. Go ahead, click X, and then click Save. After that, you can go ahead and X out of this window for now. The next step is you actually have to click on the search icon right here, and you want to type in Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security, and then just click right here once it pops up. 
Next, you want to start by clicking on inbound rules, and then you want to create a new rule, and then we want to click on port, and then click next. So we are going to want to create one for TCP and also UDP, but you have to make a new rule to do the UDP. So first, we're going to start with TCP. So type in the port, so 2456 through 2458 and then click next. Make sure allow the connection is selected and then click next. Make sure all of these are selected and then click next. You can call this anything, so just put Valheim for example. And then you want to do the same exact thing, create a new rule, click on port, click next. And then on this part, you wanna click UDP and then put the same ports. So two, four, five, six through two, four, five, eight, then click next and then make sure allow the connection is selected again. Click next, make sure it's all selected, next, and then call the same thing, Valheim, finish. After you do that, you wanna do the same exact thing for outbound rules right here. So click outbound rules, new rule, port, next, TCP, 2456 through 2458, next. Allow the connection, next, next, call it Valheim finish and then we're going to do it again click port next make sure udp is selected type in 2456 through 2458 click next allow the connection next next just name it valheim click finish now we are all done setting up the Windows Defender firewall, so you can just go ahead and click X out of this. So the next step is we want to actually port forward the ports for the Valheim server on your router. So in order to port forward your router, you need to figure out first how to sign into your router. Once you are able to sign into your router, you want to find the port forwarding section. Once you get to the port forwarding section, you want to make sure the external port is port 2456 to 2458. There's a few different ways routers do this. Sometimes you put a little dash. Sometimes like on my Asus router, I have to do the two dots like this so just figure out what you need to put for your specific router so you need to put the same ports for the external port and also the internal port and then you want to make sure TCP and UDP is both selected next it's going to ask for the local IP so you need to put the local IP of the computer that you're gonna host the server on otherwise this will not work once you followed all of those steps that means you're ready to start loading up your server for the first time so go ahead and head over to the Valheim server folder you created. Go over to Steam Apps, Common, Valheim Dedicated Server, and then you want to actually create a shortcut for the start underscore headless underscore server dot bat. So right click, create shortcut, and then just drag that onto the desktop for easy access. Once you're done with that, go ahead and double click on the shortcut you created to start launching your server up. Once it says game server connected, that means your server is up and running. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make sure that your server is up and running correctly. So in order to do this, you want to open up Steam. And then once you have Steam opened up, you want to go to the top left corner of the screen, click view, then click on servers. After that, I recommend sorting the game to Valheim only to make it easier on you. Just go all the way down. It should be very near the bottom. Click Valheim. So one way you can do this is by searching the name of the map you created. So I'm just going to put my YouTube username, for example, and you can see right there, the server is up and running. Another way you can do this is actually by going to favorites, clicking add a server, type in local host and the two dots, and then type in the port. So two, four, five, six, click find games at this address. So if this happens and it says server is not responding, you have to add another number to this. So instead of a six, you wanna put a seven at the end and then click find games at this address. And now as you can see right here, the server is found and then just click add select a game to favorites. And then the server will be right here. So in order to connect to your server, you actually need to first open up Valheim. So just click play. So once you reach the main menu, go ahead and go back to that Steam Servers tab, and then you wanna just double click on the server. Then you want to enter the password you created, and then hit Connect. 
and then just go back to your game. You can go ahead and make a new character or just continue with your pre-existing one. Then it's going to ask for the password again, so I'm just going to do it one more time and then click enter. So as you guys can see, I actually loaded into a world that I've previously played on. You're actually able to use any pre-existing world. I can show you guys how to do that in another video, however. If I do end up making another video, I'll make sure to put a link in the description and also a little info card in the corner of the screen right now. So in order to find the IP address you need to give to your friends, just go to google.com, type in what is my IP, and then once you click enter, it will actually tell you exactly what your IP address is and they will just enter that into the Steam server browser in the favorite section and they'll be able to add the server that way just like you did. Your friends will want to enter in your IP. For example, let's just put a random IP in here that doesn't belong to anyone. And then you will want to start with the first port which is 2456, then click find games at this address if nothing pops up, just try going to seven and see if that works. Click find games at this address. And um, last case scenario would be type in eight if nothing else pops up. If for some reason you still can't find the game server, feel free to join my Discord channel in the description down below. And I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. Also feel free to leave a comment down below with any questions you guys have. I will do my best to respond to all of you guys, but if you guys really wanna get in contact with me, Discord is definitely the best option. So guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps a lot, guys. I'm most likely gonna be making a lot more Valheim content, so please subscribe and stay tuned for more Valheim videos. You guys have a great day.